What's going on everybody, C4, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for episode 17 of our Madden 23 Pink Slips franchise back into the wild, wonderful world of Pink Slips. Never really forgot about this series. It's just Pink Slips is something like, now I'm actually kind of want to pound out a couple episodes, get into year three. Uh, here with Pink Slips, here with the Golden Eagles. Actually, it's year two with the Golden Eagles, year three of this franchise. And today, we're playing week one on the road against the Texans, week two at home against the Cincinnati Bengals. We are fresh off of our off season, where, you know, we got, we got, we think, at least anyways, we got a little bit better on the squad. Got a new wide receiver, 72. We got Hill House on the offensive line, 73 hidden dev guard as we try and retool the offensive line. Last season, for those of you that, you know, it's been a minute, so it's been, what, like a week since we did pig slips? Uh, we had a good offensive line, and then we suffered a bunch of losses, and a lot of our top linemen got poached. So we kind of have to rebuild our offensive line here this year, which is never the funnest thing to do. Uh, on the defensive side, as it relates to the draft, uh, we got a brand new pass rusher, which we're going to see if he's actually going to be better than Barno, because Barno is very pink slippy. But he has the rating, 75 overall rookie. Anytime you get something like that, you would love to see a dev trait on the guy. But it's going to be interesting to see if he is going to... Like, if he doesn't feel all right, if he feels like he's just serviceable, and we're not, we're not, you know... We're missing the 93 speed, 94 acceleration of Amari Barano. Someone like Trailer might just be more valuable to the team as it relates to upgrades and, and eventually moving on from him. But uh, Stringer at defensive tackle. I mean, these guys grow... I'm not going to say they grow on trees. It's probably one in every two, one in every three drafts. You get a couple guys that are like 350 pounds plus. They're almost always monsters. They don't always pop with Aiden Dev. But they're always like in the 70s. They have a lot of strength and they're very good. And that's exactly what we got here in Byron Stringer, the defensive tackle out of the Pac-12 in Washington. So we got some great new players. I don't think no one is really worth shuffling around our team captaincy. You know, the, the guys that we can protect right now from that draft class. But I, I do see, you know, an opportunity here to get a lot better as a squad this season. And what better way? To get a lot better than here in today's first episode of season number three. First up, we have the 83 overall Houston Texans. Let's see what they're working with. Oh, they got Aaron Donald. They got a, they're an old team. Really, the first three guys, four guys, five. First five. I give you guys like even if I played in contention, I don't know if I'd want them. I'm not anti. I'm not ageism, but that's pretty old. They got Devonte Smith, Byron Murphy, No Fant. No Fant is a pink slip tight end. That'd be pretty cool. ETN, Robbie Anderson, Quinn Miners, Jor. Ooh. Ooh, that would be awesome. C4's favorite wide receiver. Talked about it on Twitter. Talked, made videos about it. He's my favorite wide receiver in last year's draft class. And, you know, maybe statistically speaking, might not be stacked up with the other wide receivers because Pittsburgh Steelers offense has been lacking. But I think in terms of highlight real plays, in terms of like this guy might be a superstar in real life. George Pickens is taking off a lot of those boxes. Quay Walker's a great athlete at linebacker. That could be pretty cool. So, I mean, yeah, you know what? This is this is a good first game for us to get out there and play and see. Honestly, I'm going to put my focus. Can we win and can we get George Pickens? We have all the pre-press stuff. Let's see what we can do. I, we definitely need to dominate on offense. I know our defense can bring it. I want to see the offense. I want to see Malik Willis take his game to another level. Let's beat the Texans. Throw for 350-plus yards. How are we going to stop Aaron Rodgers? Well, we're definitely going to limit his passing. I don't think at 40 years old, we really need to worry about him scrambling too much. And it's time to talk to our camp standout, Rodrigo. Malcolm Rodriguez went to Mexico not too long ago, brought his you know brought his game up to another level, and it is time to combine sacks and TFLs. And he gets his breakout to continue. Let's go. We're going to start this game. We play half on offense, half on defense. Let's start with defense. Oh, John Grenard! Florida Gators, stand up! No, 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 okay, I gotta get back in rhythm. I gotta do that slower so I can commentate. I'm sick, man. That's why there's no face count. I'm going, I had a cold for like a week. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. I'm like sitting here in like a snuggy sweater blanket. No webcam today. No, <coughs> no webcam today. Third inches, let's go Stringer. Hidden Dev Rookie. 360 pound mammoth of a man. On a clear running situation. This is where you expect to see him thrive. And he gets pushed out to the side like a toddler. Oh, sauce jump. I You know what? This is why we love playing defense, man. To so watch our offense go three and out, three and out, punt fest. I feel like when we play defense, we know we can score with these corners. Sauce Gardner, 
Tariq Woolen, Zion McCollum, the Cookie Monster, Alante Taylor. Going up, even up a little bit front, we got Troy Anderson. They just ball hawks. Bunch of guys. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised our DB coach is in Ed Reed with how much when we get an interception, we look to score. Oh, my God. Go, Wiener! I think it was John Grenard and Cade Wiener, the first ever first-round draft pick for the Mexico City Golden Eagles. I think we have our second defense. We do. I'll tell you right now, defensive touchdowns, if you guys don't remember the scoring, one star each. As it stands right now, we're on, Jesus, three and a half stars. Starting the year out with a plus five spin the wheel, plus George Pickens, would be absolutely incredible. Are we going to say third and six? They are in scoring position. But if we can hold them to a field goal, that'd be huge. Just assuming that our offense is going to go three and out. Oh, no. Come on. Take him down! Zion McCollum, great tackle. That's long. I don't think they're going to go for that. Likely is a field goal, which it is. All right, offense, give me give me a field goal. I will take a field goal. I'm not going to hold the pressure of getting a touchdown. They got 29 yards, Jelani Woods. Four-yard rush, Malik Willis. We got a third and two coming up. The penalty. And uh, no points. And he missed it! Giving the Texans an excellent starting field position. Man, ETN's going off. Oh, it's going to be a really tough bend. Don't break. I do not want to give up a touchdown on defense. That'd be something that we can like hang our hat on. <sighs> but they got it. George Pickens. Fuck, man. I feel like we, uh, at least we get to control the offense in the second half. With our defense play, anytime you get two defensive touchdowns in the first half, you expect your offense to do literally anything. Not the case. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking fucking kidding me here's me thinking new year new offense it's the exact same bullshit oh they're definitely gonna get this anytime they do pass like this it's someone always wide open okay just take knees for the love of god just take knees we start with a sack so bad. So bad. At least now we get to play offense. Is that hard? Look, I was going to first down on my first play. Come on. Like, maybe I actually need to, like, look at changing up my offensive playbook. Because this is, it's, like, depressingly bad. Maybe that maybe that's a subliminal reason why I don't, like, I'm not playing pink slips as much as I want to. Is because these house rules, which... In a way, kind of make it fair. It's just so demoralizing. Fourth and inches, huh? All right. All right, fourth and inches. Okay. I think we know what we need to do. Oh my God, it's a, kind of a tough catch. I almost feel like you gotta make that. <sighs> yep, yeah, punt it. See what the defense can do. Of course. 27 yards, George Pickens. Then we get a penalty. Ooh, TFL. Third and 13, gotta get off the field. Ooh, we do. Tracy Taylor, the rookie. Gets a sack on Aaron Rodgers. Let's go. Like 58 overall, Nick Foles will be using the Panther series. is better than Malik Willis. We're going to go for it. And we're definitely not throwing it. We're going to go with the bold decision of running it towards Aaron Donald. Woo! Let's go, baby. All pro. Suck it. My God. Just, just keep running it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, they gotta go 99 if we don't get this. 
Yes! It worked on Aaron Donald's side nonetheless. All right, let's go defense. Offense did their job. Defense uh, kind of throwing up a stinker here. Oh, turnover, man. The Sim defense came to play. Cade Wiener already has a defensive touchdown. Gets a big time fumble recovery. Oh, let's go. Get up. Touchdown. I don't know if he was touched. Didn't look like he was touched. Alec Pierce. Let's go, offense. He might be the guy we need to ship out for George Pickens, but thank you very much for uh, getting that touchdown, which most likely gets this one over the line. All right, they're going on a drive here. It's not, you know, best thing is that they are dinking and diving it. They are chewing up a lot of clock. So whatever the result of this drive is, uh, they're kind of doing a good job for us. They go four-yard touchdown pass to Devontae Smith. Make the extra point. Let's kill this game off and get some pink scoring. Let's go, Wang Wu. That's definitely over 100 for him. I think I need one more completion, Alec Pierce. This is like... This needs to go to, of course, he's just fucking locked up there. God damn it. Heads up, start of the year 1-0. Thought it was going to be pretty bad when we got two defensive touchdowns in the first quarter. And it was super close. But luckily, this team persevered and were able to start out 1-0 over a talented Tucson Texas team. That was what? Six, seven overall points. Better than that. So we calculate our score rating. And we'll see just where we're at. Oh my god, Alec Pierce finished with 100 yards on the dot. Let's go. great life is great we won the game which is worth one star we have the turnover battle which is where they half star and take a look at our player stats for kenny wang we're going over 100 yards rushing half star alec pierce going over 100 yards receiving a half star on the defensive side of the ball we had an interception for sauce gardner which is worth a half star we also had two defensive touchdowns which are worth a full star each it is a five-star performance starting year three out on the right foot. Let's bring out the wheel. Let's get George Pickens plus hopefully something else super crazy. We're also, before we do any wheels, able to really contain Aaron Rodgers and the Texans offense like expected. So the entire defense, a massive 2,500 XP boost. Everybody. And the highlights from that big upgrade, Byron Stringer, our defensive tackle rookie, goes up to a 74 overall. Block shed, plus three block shed is pretty huge in the main of the hour. Trying to make debate that he's the best young corner in the National Football League. Sauce Gardner up to an 84 overall. Looking faster out there. Maybe trained in Mexico a little bit this week. All right, we got our five stars spin the wheel. The options are pretty self-explanatory. Dev increase goes up. Plus 20 gives us 20 points to work with. Poaching the Houston Texans. Plus 10 any team. Which means we can apply the plus 10 upgrade to any team. That's pretty much the one I don't want because I want George Pickens. But uh, we also have Mexican Supplements, which you roll that. It's plus two physical attribute for any player on the team. We have Steal a Pick, which is where we'd be sending our seventh or lowest round pick to the Houston Texans to get their first round pick in return. We have Monstars, which if we roll that, we get to take a attribute from a single player on the Houston Texans and apply it to a player at the same position on our team, like the Monstars from Space Jam. And I also added them called the Film Room, which is going to be plus two, much like the Mexican Supplements, but it's inverse. Plus two non-physical attributes for a given position. So if we roll quarterback, that'd be, that's actually pretty huge. That'd be like plus two throw, I mean, throw, throw power is kind of physical. It'd be plus two accuracies, medium, short, like all those throwing ones that's not throw power. That'd be plus two to all those. So let's spin it. Really, the only one I don't want would be plus 10 any team. So that means we're probably going to roll that. Oh, no, we're not. Oh my god, it's film room. And I'll tell you right now, that's going right to Malik Willis, the guy we used as an example. That guy is so fucking inaccurate. He needs this. So it's definitely worth seeing. Malik Willis is a 73. This might actually be a massive upgrade for him when we're done with the plus two. So it's plus two. It's the film room. So if it's quarterback putting in extra work, we're going to go plus two to the awareness. We are going to go down to where it's not because that's physical, but short accuracy, that's plus two. That's going to be plus two for mid. That's going to be plus two for deep. Uh, you know, we'll give plus two to everyone here. Because all these ones also kind of make sense. Break sack. But those are also kind of physical. Break sack seems most physical at a throw on the run. Because, like, that's still decision making while you're throwing the run. Decision making, throwing a break. Break sack's physical. We'll go plus. 
Uh, you know, plus two overall. Goes from a 73 up to a 75. Hopefully this helps the kid out because, my God, right now he is not very accurate. Feels like we're playing with Ronnie Brown in the Wildcat offense way back with the Miami Dolphins. And fellas, this ends up being one of the, maybe even the biggest upgrade we've hit so far with the Golden Eagles. We're spending plus 10 to send Derek Young right away to bring in a 79 overall George Pickens, who's going to be sensational for our team. Also, he's pink slip 6'3 with that kind of speed. We're also going to take plus zeros because why not? Tyree Phillips, 74, star to heavy star, but he's 27. And we're just going to get a younger, similar, higher ceiling guard here, Terrell Bailey out of Iowa, the rookie is already a 74 with at least a star dev. And here's, here's one that in one, in one side, it may, it's a little painful because John Grenard, as a Florida Gator fan, uh, you know, I like having as many Gators as we can. Gator bias, that's, that's far from anything that's new on the channel. However, the edge rusher, now he's an edge rusher. So that's why it's it's like for like, he's a speed rusher. They have a superstar second year player of Auburn at Daryl Foot. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of, we kind of need to do that. Let's go. Before we get into the second game of the year, I'm going to make a change, man. We've kind of been talking about it. I think, you know, he's not. But even though we get to cut the upgrade for him, maybe he's going to play phenomenally. I'm going to take the slight risk. Leek Willis has not been as godlike as I would have liked. And at this point, we have a superstar pass rusher that we now need to protect. Got to do it, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? Thoughts? I could revert this after this episode as long as we don't lose and lose Malik Willis here in the next coming game. Let me know. Game two of our doubleheader is against the Cincinnati Bengals. And while I'm excited to debut superstar pass rusher for George Pickens on the offense, it's not going to be an easy game. we got Stephon Diggs, Tunsil, David Montgomery, Gilmore, veteran squad. Much like the last team where some of the top guys, not necessarily the most desirable, if you will. I mean, someone like Cole Komet, tight end, could be a spot we look at upgrading. They got... What? Davis Mills up to a superstar, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Longneck himself. Um, hmm, honestly, not, not see, ooh, what's that? Superstar right tackle, that could be fun. But oh, I honestly not seeing a whole lot here. But uh, you know what? Now it's, this is one of those games where it's, you just don't want to lose anybody. Let's go handle business. All right, I always feel like, I don't know if I want to do the same thing, but I almost feel like starting on defense and then whatever the deficit is at halftime, trying to combat that on offense, probably the best balance for this approach to how we're playing our games. We got a brand new superstar pass rusher. Let's see what he can do against the superstar, surprising, shockingly, Davis Mills. Whoa. No, Rodrigo. Oh, Tariq Willard, the freak. You don't get that unless you have like an 87 inch reach. Something ridiculous. What? That might be one of our best interceptions. How did he get this? Breaks on the football and just steals it from David Montgomery. You go check down. You go for pussy-ass play call like that. We are going to do exactly what he just did. Now we have Malik Willis. Extra week in the film room. Feeling more accurate than ever. What can the kid do? I'm excited. I'm excited to see this. Nine yard to Alec Pierce. We had George Pickens. Love to see George Pickens make a couple big plays here. James Williams, 12 yards. Big shot downfield, 22 yards. Jelani Woods. Don't stall the red zone. Don't stall. We stall in the red zone. Have to take three off the interception. Oh, let's go. Alante Taylor, the cookie monster, does not let Dave Montgomery get the first down. And the defense does their job. Let's go offense. 13 yards, Jamison Williams, who did nothing last week. Season opener, zero yards. Got locked down. And we get a sack from Jadavion Clowney. Force a punt. Ooh, had a chance, Tariq. I wouldn't be testing him like that, Davis Mills. Oh, no. Get out of here. Get that shit out of here, baby. Oh, it's hideous. What? All right, home to a field goal attempt offense. Come on, you got like one more quarter. Give me like one touchdown. Just give me one, uh, you know, CPU touchdown, and I, I won't have any criticisms. I'll be fine with it. We get 13 yards, Alec Pierce. Fall up 15 yards of the newcomer, George Pickens, who we're going to have rocking out of the slot. Third and five upcoming, and we move the chains. A rare move the chains. Nine yards, Alec Pierce. 
We are at at least field goal range, unless there's a turnover. That would be crushing. Seven yards, George Pickett setting up third and three. And we get the touchdown, Jelani Woods. 20 yards. Beautiful. All right, they're almost in field goal range. I feel like a stop here might force a punt. Might force going for it on fourth down. Oh, that's a tight window. Good grab, Montgomery. Man, see this foot guy can get some fucking pass rusher, man. It's been not great. Zero pressure on Davis Mills here today. The only time we got pressure literally was a rough in the passer on him. Third and goal. Ben, don't break. Ooh, did a great job there. What are they going to do? I would go for it if I was them. You have literally, you put it on. If you put the football, you have Davis Mills tuck the football between his neck and his shoulder. I like like you know an old school like cord phone. I guarantee you he just it'd be like falls forward and he gets it. And they're going for a field goal. Disagree with that. A minute twenty eight, just no turnovers. I would go into half with a four point lead and give me the ball on offense. But they're gonna get points. Sure. Let's go, George Pickens back to back catches into field goal range. Oh my god, give me a touchdown. Penalty. All right, not good. That's pretty crushing. We get twenty yards back to Jelani Woods. And we just fucking get no points. Okay. Oh, there we go, George Pickens. Oh, Jabo. The fastest wide receiver in the NFL takes the slant. Is that gate of 20? All right, we're not quite at that level of accuracy, okay? Fair, fair enough. Oh, Jelani Woods cuts across the safety. That's actually a great grab from a guy who historically, I haven't been the biggest fan of Jelani Woods. More of a drop highlight reel than ridiculous highlight reel. But we will take that touchdown every day of the week. They basically bail out the quarterback. I don't think if he's, if he's not that aggressive, that safety might jump that and pick it off. Come on, defense. Oh, three and out. Here we go, Jalen Rager play. George Pickens makes a guy miss. What? I'm so happy. So happy we have George Pickens on the team. It's almost like the Philadelphia Eagles. Until I get stopped, like until I get stopped, I'm not even gonna second guess not running this play. All right, we're gonna look Jelani Woods here quickly. Look at that. Oh, like you gotta hit that, dude. You got some wide as open as it gets. All right, we, I mean we got points. See if the defense can do it. It's not 28 yard screen pass to Montgomery. Third and three. They get another big time play to Stephon Diggs. We're going to the fourth quarter. But a nice lead. Third and inches. Come on, baby. Oh, Shosh! The best young corner in the NFL! George Pickens doesn't drop it. That's why we bring in George Pickens. That is a third passing touchdown of the day. The film room paying immediate dividends for Malik Willis. Got a third 10 for the defense. Ooh, they get a big play there. Odell. And they pull one back. Four yard rushing touchdown. But we recover the onside. And it's pink switch play. We're going to stay aggressive. Come fuck on. Oh fuck. As soon as I said in my head, I'm going to be aggressive. It's like, all right, this is going to be something stupid. That's going to cost us more than help us. Yeah, look, they fucking just go down the field. Two seconds. Two seconds. For the love of God, hit this deep pass. Yes. There we go, fellas. Big time victory. 34-20. Start the season two with a massive performance from Malik Willis. Let's calculate our star rating. Man, they, I, you know, I'm sick as shit. I was like, I don't know. I might have to go two days without an upload. Glad we did. We have another big time. Won the game. Won by 14, which is one and a half stars. Won the turnover battle, even with that late interception, which is worth a half star. And what a game. Probably the best game Malik Wills has had for the Golden Eagles. 361 yards, four touchdowns. That gives him one full star. George Pickens, one hell of a debut. Going over 100 yards is worth a half star. Jelani Woods going over 100 yards and two touchdowns. Bringing in a full star. Very close for Jameson Williams. Unfortunately, no scoring for him. But on the defensive side, we had two interceptions. Sauce and Woolen, which is worth one star combined, ends up being a five and a half star performance, which gives us a plus 11 upgrade plus another spin of the wheel.
Before we do any upgrades, it's kind of like, what do we have in-house? We have a weekly award winner going to Malik Willis, which gives him a plus two at any non-physical attribute. Hmm. I think for Malik, you can make an argument that that awareness needs to shoot up, but like, as much as Madden I play, I still don't know really what awareness does. So I feel like in this, we're going to... We'll go plus two medium. Takes him up to a 60... Uh, what is it? 76 overall. That's huge. We got another spin of the wheel. You don't need me to explain everything. I will say we will re-roll if we get uh, film room again. Of course. I'm leaving this in there just to show you guys that it can't happen. You can double roll. And I just fucking predicted that. All right, let's go. Try it again. Oh, no, no. We're going to go to Mexico, I think. Woo! Mexico, someone is getting plus two to all their physical attributes. And that's going to be on you guys to vote who is getting that. That means plus two, sprint speed, acceleration, agility, change of direction, jumping. That is 100%. Anybody. It could be anybody. We are Do we continue to just make Troy Anderson an absolute alien? Do we help out George Pickens? Do we go Tariq Woolen? Do we go Foot? Do we go Malik Willis? There are plenty of options for you guys to consider. I always say maybe weigh the captains a little bit better because those guys will never get posted on like we're doing work for a team that might future post them. But that is 100% up to you guys. Let me know who is going on a trip to Mexico. Now let's look at our upgrades for this plus 11 that we learned against the Cincinnati Bengals. All right, so here are the upgrades you guys get to vote on. First things first, we did identify before in the pregame the Bengals did have a superstar like 67 tackle. We'd have to downgrade it, you know, I really like bending the rules a little bit. We've never really had downgrading as an upgrade here. So uh, we will consider that. Start at the bottom. We're going to weigh up. We can use plus one of our 11 to go from Togi, who's 72 normal, and bring in Harold Red, the rookie defensive tackle out of Georgia, who is a 73 with a hidden dev. Tight end was a position we kind of highlighted. We have Nicholas, who's a 72 normal. And we go ahead and bring in Cole Komet, 6'6", 262, 80 overall with the star dev. Uh, that would actually be awesome to have that type of safety net. Him and Jelani Woods would be dope. And, uh, you know, while I think the ceiling is much higher for Jameis Williams, while I feel like Jameson Williams is as pink slips as it gets, there is definitely a, a, a decent amount of people that say, Story C4, stop just getting young players. Let's get some game changers. So we could spend plus nine and bring in the X Factors to Fond Now, he is 30. He's at his ceiling. He's already regressed maybe a little bit. But I will do what the people want. It's really, we either do... Stefan Diggs and Red. Or we do Cole Komet and Red. Because, you know, obviously there's eight point upgrade. This is a nine point upgrade. The vote is on you guys. Vote on who gets the Mexican supplements. Vote on this upgrade. And we will see you back here before too long for a new episode of Madden 23 Pink Slips. Thank you guys very much for watching. So if I sound a little shitty, it's just day six of this cold that won't go away. Hopefully it's gone by the weekend. And I'll have something else for you guys on the weekend. But uh, if it is your first time stopping by, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you are excited that we're getting back into uh, more consistent uploads here for Pink Slips. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out. Love ya. Have a good one.